Hey yo, it's your boy Chris, aka Gokunaru, aka inactive YouTuber, aka guy whose channel is dying. And I'd like to welcome you to No Stupid Questions. Wow, this is the 59th episode of No Stupid Questions. And it's funny because about a year and a half ago, I was at 50. So that's a pretty good record, guys. We're, we're really pushing out these NSQs quite, quite fast, I must say. The last one was, what, four months ago? Almost five. Hell yeah, guys, we're doing this. All right, so you know what? Without delay, I'm just going straight into it. I'm not even going to address my, my absence, okay? Because we all know, all right? You know, it's, it's the elephant in the room, and, um, you know, uh, sometimes you just have to put it down. You know, you just got to just put it down. So we're going to jump right back into it, and probably all of you forget what the Wizard of the Week question was last time, so I'll readdress it. Uh, it was... What do you guys dislike about me? Your content. Your face. Your life. Your entire existence. Your face. Chris, the absurdity of your dislike for humanity with your animus perspectives are visceral. Perhaps from the lack of serial cortex because of the tantamount of how much stupid is in both of our cereal. As the banality of the fake me, you perceive to be me. To expiate, you shall put me as wiz of the week as your vocabulary is lacking and your timing accumulates to an exponential growth as well as telling me when I can and can't roast you. Good day. Oh, I forgot how I feel. The most bothersome thing about you is how this comment says 2015 when you're reading it in 2016. <laughs> <laughs> I myself, and most of the world, dislike the fact that your brother jokes off to anime and WoW pornography. I dislike the fact that you videotape him doing this too. I've put the pieces together and concluded that is why you have been inactive. Cheeky wank. Well, uh, glad you guys got that off your chest. Now maybe we can be more loving towards each other, you know? Like a family. Or, um, an, an abusive orphanage. Yeah, bad analogy. Alright, so, the first question, jumping right back into the shitter, comes from Unicorn Gaming. A new guy. Ooh. And he asks, would you rather adopt a girl or a boy? Oh, and he adds something. Ab abduct, he meant, he, me he meant to say. Yeah, mm. yeah that got... You, you turned a, he turned a dicey question into a, uh, a real, uh, a real mess. Uh, I wouldn't abduct any children, is what I will say for the public to see. That's, that's the correct answer. Next question from Gamma Dream. He asks, as a longtime viewer of this channel, I ask, why do you upload only once a month? I would love a weekly dose of you, smiley face. And you know, that's really kind, and I actually genuinely appreciate comments like that. The thing is, you're wrong. I don't even upload once a month. It's more like once every two months. And that's pretty despicable and disgusting. Pretty much what happens is I just, after like two months, I upload like five videos because I'm motivated, and then and then I get, you know, busy with school, and then it never happens for another two months. And I gotta, gotta stop that, you know, and I will work, okay? I will work to try, but you know what? In the end of the day, I'm only human, and we'll see what happens. Next question from... Well, actually, we got four questions from Zoomer Jake. I'm just gonna go rapid fire. How many times have you been cool? Never. Was the moon landing real? No. Is Jumbo Boombox a robot? Yes. Was Hitler actually killed? No. Yes. I mean, you... You know too much. Next question from Croctag88. He asks, would you do YouTube as a job? Yeah. If I could do YouTube as, like, a serious job, it would be so much fun. Next question from Modio, he asks, Do you sometimes feel like making videos are an obligation? And if so, how do you get out of that feeling? Well, you know, um, here's a little secret. Every single person who has ever shown some form of dedication to YouTube gets into those ruts, okay, where they feel that making a video is an obligation. And there was a period in my life where I was literally making a video every single day. And that was when I was in the ninth grade, because I had the time. Now I'm in grade 12, and I have uh, a, a, an unfortunate amount of obligations. But um, there is definitely has definitely been periods where it felt like an obligation. Like, when people are, like, commenting, which a lot of you did, it's good that you comment that uh, I'm inactive and whatever, but it hurts me a little bit on the inside, and it motivates me, okay? Um, it does feel like an obligation sometimes, but the trick is, how do you power through it? 
I don't know. I'll tell you when I figure it out, man. When when you see me act actively uploading on a regular basis, then then ask me. All right. Until then, I really like I'm n in no position to say. Whew. Next question from Halo Three Fanatic 1998. He asks, "Do you ever wonder what the hell is going on in the heads of the people who ask traumatizing questions?" Absolutely. I used to talk to a lot of people on a daily basis who would ask me what the hell is wrong with my viewers. Back in the days when I would answer like the most disgusting questions that you guys would provide, like literally filth, like things that I I would probably get fired for a future job for showing people. Like you guys used to be way way worse, and now I'm even trying to cut out kind of the terrible questions like Chris is a cheeky wanker, like some of those questions man I just I like I can't even answer but yeah people genuinely have come up to me and just asked what's wrong with my fan base and uh, you know I, I think the fact of the matter is that I attract people who are of a similar humor style to myself and while that's great it's also not very socially acceptable but hey man this can be your filth hole if you want to just if you just want to dump all your trash down in my comment sections just you do you, man. I'm I'm not about to be blocking people for freedom of speech. Next question from Drew Iglesia, my boy. I love you, Drew. I'm only going to answer one of your questions, and it'll probably piss you off, but I love you. Who do you think will be the first YouTuber to retire? Me. Man, that would be such a great opportunity. Just end the video. Just never upload again. Just that's it. Like that's that. I'm gone. Go dark forever. That that, that would just totally be hilarious. Just great prank. Sick social experiment. You know. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, now I'm talking, and uh, that joke is uh, is ruined. Oh, anyway, next question is from Jumbo Boombox. Saved you for last, buddy. Anyway, and he asks, get a piercing on your inner butthole or on the foreskin of your penis. Okay. Well, you know, to give you credit, uh, <clears throat> Jumbo, you, you have improved over the years. Like, if you look back, you have asked some of the worst questions, man. Like, it's clear you went through a phase of just filth. And you're improving. You know, this isn't a very classy question, but it's it's definitely an improvement. So, probably the inner, inner butthole. I'm not, I don't think I... No reason needs to be given, I don't think so. Next question from Jumbo once again. Final question. Chinese food or Mexican food? Both very good, but I choose Chinese because I eat it fairly decently often and it doesn't make me feel as bad the next day. <laughs> ah. Yeah, that, uh, whew, that concludes this, uh, this edition of No Stupid Questions. You guys only had to wait four months this time. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, so, uh, let's, let's now get into the Wizard of the Week. For those of you who are maybe new, Wizard of the Week is essentially when I pose a question to you, the audience, you answer it in the comment section, and my favorite answer gets featured next time, as you saw at the start of this video. And so, the question this week... Who is your favorite YouTuber right now? Can't be me, and it can't be you, okay? You get, here's how it's gonna be kind of judged. Whichever YouTuber you suggest, you have to f try to find one that I haven't seen, all right? And that I like, okay? Like, for example, I found a YouTuber who is hilarious and has less subscribers than me. His name is Hey Watch Your Mouth, and I was, there's some videos, man, I was literally, like, like that's my humor, man, it was really good, okay, and I'll link him in, in the description. So find YouTubers like that, who are kind of maybe a little bit unknown, they don't have to be unknown, but just, you have to try to find someone whom I'm not aware of, and basically whoever finds the YouTuber that I like the most, or I find the funniest, or whatever, wins Wizard of the Week. So it's like a win-win. You promote your favorite YouTuber and you get Wizard of the Week. Of course, we all know that I'm your favorite YouTuber, but, you know, we'll just keep that on the down low, all right? That's just, you know, that's just between me and you. We already know. It's all good. It's all classified. It's established. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed and, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll catch you on the flip side, home force. Man, I'm surprised nobody roasted my broken nose. <laughs>